it's Emily and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, I just wanted to let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Mondays, I post videos about my life with glaucoma. On Wednesdays, I post whatever video I want. And on Fridays, I post videos related to my faith. So if that interests you, please hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get to today's video. kind of weighing on my mind that I wanted to talk out, talk through, um, and process because I think that um, I know my sort of fears and anxieties aren't unique to me and I'm hoping by kind of processing them um, I can show other people that they're not alone and hopefully find some peace within myself. So I have my coffee here. Um, and let's just see what happens because I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know um, exactly how long this video will be, but I just need to process. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I graduate in May and so it's like a month away and I am obviously very excited to graduate and I'm very proud of myself. I was able to do college in four years, you know, stay on track, and I worked really hard, and um, especially given the decline in my vision, I am just really proud that I was able to keep going with school because it definitely got a lot harder. Um, and now I'm just really worried about my next step in life. Um, I'm probably, I'm going to be in grad school. Um, I just have one more grad school like interview before I'll find out if I get accepted. Um, but I'm pretty hopeful that I will. And so I'm really excited about being in grad school and I'm hoping and I'm just trusting that it will all work out and that, you know, just like undergrad, I was able to make do, make accommodations and, um, you know, able to do it on my own. So I'm hopeful that will be the same with grad school, but I am very nervous still um, about that eventual transition into working because, um, I've never had a job, a real job. You know, I've babysat and I had one eight week job at a library when I was like 16, but, or 15, um, but I haven't ever really had a job before. And it's already something that I, I feel a little bit like embarrassed about or shameful of because I'm almost 23 years old and I have zero job experience and most people would assume, you know, that someone my age would have worked before and I do think people often kind of judge me because I don't work and, um, you know, it's in some ways, yeah, I'm, I'm very fortunate that um, I was able to go through college without working because I get that's really stressful to have to balance like work and school. Um, but at the same time, if I could see if I didn't have glaucoma and I could work, like obviously I would choose that. And it's not that like I don't want to work, it's just that I get really stressed because like it's already hard enough for me to try to make plans for myself, like for me to try to schedule something, an appointment, or even just hanging out with a friend, and then having to figure out like how I'm gonna get there. And so obviously having a job where I have to have transportation every single day um, stresses me out because I know like I'm not gonna be able to ask a friend or my family member for a ride every day. And then I'm gonna have to start using public transportation and I'll have to probably use like a car service and I'm sure like once I start doing it I'm sure it'll be fine but it just makes me 
it just gives me a lot of anxiety because a I already have social anxiety so the idea of having to you know not only you know have a car come to my location and have to find them which visually are like I already get stressed out if you know my mom's picking me up and I know what her car looks like and you know I know that like she can help me find her so having to kind of have a stranger come and have to try to find them and get in their car um, and then you know you're riding with a stranger every day um, and it's not only just you know once a day it'd be getting to work getting back home from work um, having to do all of that that really stresses me out having to navigate that new obstacle and then of course like working because I don't know what jobs I can do I don't know how easy it will be for me to get hired because um, of the fact that like my vision is not very good and um, I I'm just really worried about how it will, how that's all going to work because, you know, um, it's very difficult for me to even read just like a standard piece of paper or for me to recognize faces. And so, you know, even like if I show up to work one day and they're like, oh yeah, just go find so and so, let them know you're here. Like, that's terrifying to me to have to like go look for someone because. Yeah, I could walk right by them and not realize like that it was them and like I understand like as long as I'm open and communicate like hey these things are hard for me I'm gonna need your help like people will make it I'm sure people will like people aren't like not it's not like people aren't gonna be nice but at the same time like I know how people are when they're at work like they don't want to hold your hand they want you to have initiative and, be independent like I don't know if I can do those things so I guess I just like I'm really stressed and like you know I want to even live on my own like obviously I don't want to live at home forever and um, you know I would love it like if I could just get a job live in an apartment on my own be independent like that would be the dream um, and you know I know that it's not like I can't do those things, but then I also worry about like how practical they are and I don't want to like get my hopes up or like, you know, I don't want to, I just don't want to get my hopes on something and then it not really work out because I don't, I don't know how, I, I just don't really know what it practically will look like to be an adult with glaucoma. I don't know anybody who's been in that position and I know a lot of people you know with visual disabilities like the unemployment rate is very high. A lot of those people I know like do rely on having someone live with them and it's hard because I don't know if my vision is going to keep getting worse. So I could you know the jobs that I can do right now aren't necessarily the jobs that I can do in 10 years. Just as, you know, the way that I was able to see three, four years ago is not the same way that I see now. And so I, I don't know. I'm just very, very anxious and just worried about what the future holds for me because I know that I'm going to have to watch a lot of my friends and family that are my age like go off and you know be independent live their dreams and not that they won't have their own set of anxieties and challenges but I think that I'm just worried that I'm going to kind of get like left behind um, because you know it's happened before when all my friends um, got their driver's license and I didn't like and I are like I just I'm already a burden and I know that like my family and friends are like oh no you're not a burden but it's like if I wasn't then they wouldn't complain about giving me a ride whenever I ask or you know I had a friend who didn't want me to go to the same school as her because she didn't want me to ask her for rides all the time and like I know that and it's not bad of them to think those things or to feel that way but it's just like 
yeah, so I, I get it. Like, no one wants to be my, like, helper all the time. But I also, like, I just don't know to what extent, like, I need that. And I need someone. And I don't know if there will be someone. To, I, I, I don't know. Like, I just... I hate not knowing, like that's the thing, there's just so much unknown and I'm, I'm terrified I'm going to get into grad school and either realize it's not what I want to do or realize I can't do it um, because I don't want every day like to feel like such a fight, like I don't want every day to be like an anxiety from the moment I wake up to, and have to like figure out how I'm gonna get to work to then being at work and having like a ton of challenges and not being able to see things and not wanting to burden people and ask for help and needing help or you know getting stuck and not literally being like I don't know what to do I can't find the person I need or whatever and then you know eventually needing to get home from work and all of that like I just don't want everything to feel like such a fight and to feel like like it's such a struggle it's like life's not supposed to be that way so I just wanted to process and get these thoughts out I know I'm kind of a mess right now and but this is the reality like this is what when people say like with glaucoma there's good days and bad days like this is what a bad day looks like it's just spiraling and not knowing what the future holds and being afraid of it and I think that's just as important to show as is, you know, me showing, you know, the fact that I can overcome obstacles and maintain hope and the fact that, you know, I graduated college, like I did get, I'm about to get my bachelor's degree, like that is a huge win and a huge success that I was able to do despite the fact that, you know, college was harder for me and so like there are good days there are good things and um i don't want to minimize that but i also don't want to minimize the tough times so thank you guys for watching this video i have no idea what it's going to turn out to be but yeah thanks for watching it um